also keeping you posted on a bit of a rift developing within the Democratic Party among at least nine moderates who are urging Nancy Pelosi to go ahead and allow uh, this bipartisan infrastructure bill, the trillion dollar one, not the three and a half trillion dollar human infrastructure one that progressives are really keen on, but get the, the sure vote thing, which is what they interpret it to be, out of the way first and, and move on. Uh, easier said than done, though. Uh, we've got Douglas Holtzik and the former Congressional Budget Office director with us. Um, Doug, obviously this opened up a divide among Democrats, some of whom, you know, want to grab a victory while they have it on a human infrastructure plan, on a, a core infrastructure plan, I should say, that has bipartisan support versus something else that could drag on, like, forever. What do you make of this? Well, I think it really depends on the kind of district that the Democrats are going to run in next year. If, you, if you're in a, a tough district with uh, uh, a lot of uh, crossover voters, both sides like bipartisan legislation, both sides like uh, infrastructure, uh, that's a much safer vote for you. Uh, if you look at the polling on this big $3.5 trillion reconciliation bill, uh, that's far less clear cut. Uh, big tax increases in there. A lot of the spending doesn't look related to the problems that we have. That's not as popular and a much more problematic vote. So I think people are uh, landing by looking around at their constituents and asking, what do you really want? You know, uh, Doug, and you can help me with this. When you were there running, you know, the CBO and all of this, did you ever see something like this where they are tying very, very disparate issues, packages, um, and, and, and one body, the House, is forcing the issue on the Senate, uh, which is, you know, a fellow Democrat-run institution, if you think about it. I, I don't recall something like this, but maybe you do. Well, I, I think there are really three interesting pieces to this. I mean, we've seen big spending bills before with all sorts of things thrown in there that weren't related to one another, but they were usually annual appropriations. This is the first time we've seen large permanent programs, child tax credits, paid family leaves, things like that, right. put together in this kind of fashion. And that's, that's making some people nervous. The second thing that's pretty interesting is uh, Nancy Pelosi very explicitly tying one vote to another and essentially trying to jam the Senate. It usually goes the other way around, where the House has to take whatever the Senate does. And the thing that I've been most interested by is the fact that the White House has been essentially quiet. I mean, I'm sure they're talking uh, every day, but uh, the president's not drawing any lines in the sand publicly. He's letting this play out so that he doesn't own whatever happens. But he would like to own a victory. He sorely needs one. He could probably get it on the, <laughs> yeah. you know, infrastructure-only package. That would be a big win and a bipartisan win. Um, so I'm just wondering whether the White House would maybe try to make this more of a strong-arm issue and, and to say, all right, cease and desist on this so we can at least claim victory on a bipartisan front. Well, they may very well uh, uh, decide to do that. The president's numbers are not great on the economy right now. Uh, the economy is struggling. Presidents get blamed when the economy doesn't do as well as it should. And, and quite frankly, on the merits, they deserve some of the blame. The American Rescue Plan, the $2 trillion bill we saw, didn't uh, move the needle at all on growth. The second quarter looked just like the first. But it did move the needle on inflation. And they're hearing about that uh, from their constituents, and they're, they're seeing it in the polls. And so the White House may want to get a bipartisan win to prop up the president's standing. Doug, always great chatting with you. Douglas Holtz, again, the uh, former CBO director, Congressional Budget Office a director. They wanted to tally all the numbers on all of this spending uh, through various administrations, Republican and Democrat, over all these years.